Hi, I'm Kevin Borland. I'm a music producer, a guitarist, and a lawyer. I'm going to tell you about an ongoing culinary adventure I embarked on last summer, and I encourage you to join me. Not just by watching my videos, but try it in your city. My quest began Monday, July 25, 2016, when I set out to cycle through the world's 206 ethnic cuisines on my lunch breaks. I call it the No Repeat Nationality Workday Lunch Challenge. In the previous episodes, I sampled 168 ethnic cuisines, mostly in and around the Washington, D.C. metro area. In this 26th episode, I'm going to sample the cuisines of the Maldives, Burkina Faso, Bulgaria, Tajikistan, Switzerland, Nauru, and the Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic. Today I'm going to try Gerikiru Boakiba from the Maldives, which is an uh, island in the Indian Ocean south of uh, Sri Lanka. It's a cake! It's a dense yellow cake. So here in America, we grow up thinking that yams and sweet potatoes are the same thing. But I'm here at the Great Wall Market and I want to show you what a yam looks like. This is a yam, about the size of a baseball bat. Not sure how the confusion started, but they are totally different. Today I'm going to have ragu ding yami uh, from Burkina Faso and that is a yam stew. So yam is nothing at all, it tastes like a sweet potato. Doesn't taste that much like a potato either. I like it better than potato actually. It's really soft, well not really soft, just different texture. I'm not sure if you can make french fries out of this. I bet we make a good yam salad though, like we make potato salad. That would not be from Burkina Faso, but it's a good stew and it's very different than any other stews I've had. circle to try some moussaka from Bulgaria. Zorbas has a nice uh, Greek theme, and if you're unfamiliar with where Bulgaria is located, it's, uh, it shares a southern border with uh, Greece and Turkey, so there is some overlap, and moussaka is a dish that's popular in both countries, and probably especially so in Bulgaria. Of a potato lasagna. Today we're going to try kirtab, which is the national dish of Tajikistan. Kirtab is a layered salad that's usually eaten communally. On the bottom it has yogurt that's uh, seasoned with some herbs and spices. And then a layer of uh, like a thick pita, it's called a uh, fatir. And then after that some raw vegetables, some cooked vegetables, some more herbs and some chili peppers. Looks good. Smells good.
is an interesting way to eat a salad. And the pita is toasted, so it's nice and crunchy. Today I'm trying Sid Voodoo, which is a pumpkin dish from Swaziland. Today I'm trying a dish from the world's smallest republic, Nauru, and that's an island about halfway between uh, Australia and Hawaii, a little closer to Australia, and apparently they have coconut palms on the island and some fish around it, so I'm going to have uh, their popular coconut crusted fish. Wine makes it better. Today's country is the uh, Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic, also known as the Western Sahara and formerly known as the Spanish Sahara, uh, known to Morocco as the Southern Southern Territory or something like that. Uh, I'm going to have some food that I actually ate when I was visited that country. Uh, it's called Harira, and it's a soup that uh, they drink to break the fast during Ramadan every night. Uh, so basically you can't eat or even drink water during the daytime and then as soon as you hear the call from the uh, mosque Then everybody digs into their harira. Sometimes they have a hard-boiled egg with it. I have bread with mine today. Mm. It's just like I remember it very good. Vegetably. I'm going to post new episodes every Thursday night on YouTube and on my Facebook fan page until I complete my journey. Be sure to tune in next Thursday when I sample food from Africa, the Pacific Islands, Netherlands, and Portugal. I also encourage you to either subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page or both. If you do, you'll get to hear a lot of my music and keep tabs on some of the other interesting projects I'm working on. And also, sharing is caring.